Well, we begin with Idalia. It has weakened to a tropical storm. This is after barreling into Florida from the Gulf this morning, and now it's moving inland, bringing very high winds and rain to four different states. Good evening to you. I'm Rashi Vaz. And I'm Caroline Collins. Just striking images we're seeing. So far, two deaths have been reported, but the storm is far from over. Fox's Caroline Shively reports from North Carolina. Hurricane Adalia hit Florida's west coast as a monster Category 3 storm early this morning, bringing with it record-breaking storm surge. This is uh, the real deal. You have people's lives that, that have been at risk. Adalia made landfall in the Big Bend area of Florida, where the panhandle meets the peninsula, then kept right on rolling. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh! pounding Georgia, then South Carolina, and now headed toward the North Carolina coast. This is going to be a terrible event for North Florida into South Georgia. We've been focused so much on Florida, but the Carolinas and uh, Southeast Georgia are also going to feel this as a massive flood, we think. It will be a much weaker storm that roars through North Carolina, then out to the Atlantic. But tonight is a supermoon at its closest orbit to the Earth, making its gravitational pull stronger and high tides even higher. Tomorrow morning with the storm hits and the high tide, that'll be the worst with the worst flooding we will see. Federal officials say they're ready to aid in the recovery. We have over a thousand personnel currently deployed, prepared to support um, not just Florida, but all of our states that are in the path as needed. Adalia's forecast to roll over us early tomorrow morning. Best case scenario that hits closer to 3 a.m. low tide than 9 a.m. high tide. In Curie Beach, North Carolina, I'm Caroline Shively, Fox 26 News.